We're asked to use the integral test to determine if the following series converges or diverges. For the first step, we want to find a function f of x that is positive, decreasing, and continuous on the closed interval from one to infinity such that f of n equals a sub n. Then if this integral converges, the series converges, and if this integral diverges, the series diverges. So looking at the formula for a sub n, notice how we let f of x be equal to five divided by the quantity one plus x squared. This function is positive, decreasing, and continuous on the interval from one to infinity, which we can easily verify by looking at the graph as we see here. So now we want to find the integral from one to infinity of f of x integrated with respect to x. Let's go ahead and factor out the five and write this as five times the integral from one to infinity of one divided by the quantity one plus x squared. Now we have an improper integral, so write this as a limit. We'd have five times the limit as b approaches infinity of the integral from one to b of one divided by the quantity one plus x squared. Looking at the integrand, notice how we'll be applying this integration formula here, so the antiderivative will involve arctangent. Notice here a squared equals one, so a equals one, and u squared equals x squared, so u equals x. And because du equals dx, no u substitution is required. So we'd have five times the limit as b approaches infinity of, the antiderivative is going to be one divided by a, which would be one divided by one, so we just have arctangent of u divided by a, that would be x divided by one or just x, and the interval is from one to b, so we have five times the limit as b approaches infinity of, we'd have arctangent b minus arctangent one. As b approaches infinity, arctangent b would actually approach pi over two. Let's look at the graph of arctangent just for review. Notice as the input approaches positive infinity, or the input moves toward the right, the output, or the y value, is approaching pi over two. We can also see arctangent one would be equal to pi over four, which means we have five times pi over two minus, again, arctangent one, which is equal to pi over four. So if we obtain a common denominator here, notice how we have five times, this would be two pi over four minus one pi over four, or just pi over four. So if the integral is equal to five pi over four, which means it converges. So if the integral converges, then the infinite series also converges. And notice how here arctangent one came out to a nice value, Sometimes it might not, and we'd have to use the calculator to get a decimal approximation. Now let's go ahead and summarize the results. We can say the integral from one to infinity of f of x, which again was five divided by the quantity one plus x squared integrated with respect to x, converges. So by the integral test, the infinite series also converges. I hope you found this helpful.